As you may or may not know, I've been working on a massive comparison uh, for gaming chairs uh, recently. It's been in the works for about five months now. And while XT Racing messaged me a bit too late to get into the comparison itself, they've still sent me a chair to review and obviously I can compare it on how I feel it is versus some of the other chairs. Now that was very kind of them and as you can see we've got their Evo series. Um, they picked the blue one to send to me which is great. As a lot of you may know, um, I don't actually request the colors for the gaming chairs. I just tell them, hey, just send me what you want. Color doesn't really play too much of a um, role in my decision on if the chair is good or not. Obviously, I may not like the color, but hey ho, it is what it is. Um, personally, blue is great though. Cheers, guys. Uh, so getting into it, um, the first thing I noticed is that the chair seems a little bit small to me um, when you actually sit in it. Now, I have a feeling this has got something to do with this great lumbar support cushion they've got here. This is actually probably one of the thickest ones I have personally seen and sat in. Uh, it's quite big, it's quite thick, and I just... It is a personal thing, but I just feel like I can't sit all the way back. My legs here are hanging off a good bit, which isn't the end of the world. It's nothing terrible. Um, but I just feel like everything's a bit small for me. Which, you know, I mean, obviously you can see, we can move the armrests up, so it's not a, a big deal. They still feel nice and comfortable. They've positioned where they should be. Um, the armrests themselves, they do also go up and down. I like to have mine all the way up. You can move them in and out, so... And then, like, as you saw, I can move them forwards and backwards. So they do have the good few options there, so you can go ahead and get it. So it's, it's a bit weird, because I don't want to make it sound like a bad thing that this chair is small. It just feels a little bit smaller than a lot of the other chairs I've sat in when you're in it. And I do know that is a big part in due to this lumbar cushion. But at the same time, in saying that, it also helps you to sit forward and sit up. So I am probably have um, a bit better posture in this chair than I would some of the other ones that are a bit more comfortable. So you've got to kind of decide where you want to go with your chair. If you want it solely... Um, for better posture then this one may be the better offering but if you want something that you can like kick back in and relax and chill out in you may want something a little bit bigger I will leave that down to you overall though the XT racing gaming chair is quite comfortable uh, for my testing I did take out the lumbar um, cushion for a good few days and I sat back into it to more a bit more where I feel comfortable sitting in it. So it is still possible. Like I said, all these chairs normally come with the lumbar and the neck pillows, but most of them are easily detachable. I mean, they normally just got a couple straps on them. You just pop the clips and just pull the cushion right off. And then that's it. And then you just put it back on and strap it back up if that's what you want to do. Uh, the other thing I will notice about this gaming chair is the actual, the multi-function base. Um, it's a bit play. I want to say plain. Um, it's not as advanced as some of the new ones. It's very basic. There we go. We'll say basic. Um, it still does what it needs to though. It's got the tilt feature. So obviously I can tilt back in the chair or I can go ahead and lock it with ease. That's not an issue at all. And then it obviously does also have the nice gas lift in it. So, I mean, you can lift it up, you can put it down. So if you're a bit taller than me, obviously you can lift the chair up a bit more and make things a bit more comfortable. As far as comfort does go overall, um, the chair is comfortable. Like I said, it actually makes me feel sitting up a bit better. Um, I feel like I've got a bit better posture in this chair. And as far as obviously like the cushioning and stuff itself goes, there's plenty of cushion here on the butt. 
And then again, there's more than ample cushion here on the back. So if you do take this cushion out, like I said, look at that. You just simply do that. Well, it's not simply working. There you go. You just got to push the bottom straps through. And like you said, if you're not showing off and you're doing that to um, do it, it's quite easy to do. And now, like I said, this feels a bit more comfortable for me personally. And I'm still sitting up very straight, very good. Um, I do think this chair offers one of the better postures to it, even if it does have even if it does feel a bit smaller. So, I mean, again, it does come down to personal preference. And I know I keep going on about that, but it's just, it's hard to try to explain it um, in a video or even in the written review that will be live on our site as well. Uh, so make sure you guys check for that. Uh, one thing I have noticed is obviously the armrests are also, they're a little bit loose. They're not um, like broken or anything. It's just these plastics on the actual metal part of the armrest that connects here is tight and doesn't move at all. So it's just these plastic parts here. They're a little bit big for what they should be. So, I mean, if you move them around a little bit, um, just be careful if you lean on them. You don't want to, obviously, as they do move a bit, you don't want to break them or anything. Um, again, as with all the gaming chairs, we've got the nice recline feature. So, I mean, if you want to take a nap, have at it and again I always mention it um, I always feel that feature is more suited towards like a land party or something you know where sleeping arrangements are a bit dodgy there's not much you may not want to leave your computer so you could just kick back right in front of it you know and catch a couple hours sleep because I mean at a land party, nobody really wants to sleep anyways, do they? So kick back in your chair for an hour or two, get you a little nap, get back into the game. But overall, I am um, happy with the XT Racing Evo Series gaming chairs. Like I said, for me personally, it's a lot more comfortable to take that lumbar cushion out. But that's the whole idea of it. That's why it snaps off and I can take it off in five seconds. It's not something that you have to keep. It's there for those who want it and who want to make use of it. And in this particular case, um, it's not for me. The neck cushion is great. Like I do like that as well. That fits good. Um, so yeah, overall, let's wrap things up here. Don't mind me. Um, overall, the chair is very comfortable. Um, you just got to find your right settings, if you will, for it. You know, get things lined up and tilted forward and pressed back or wherever you need them but once you've done that it's very good the padding is great especially under the butt um, it's a bit thicker than some of the other gaming chairs and it's also a tad bit firmer than some of the other gaming chairs so obviously they've used a bit firmer um, foam in it which is great and what this does is um it's going to allow it more longevity before the foam starts to mold to your butt imprint or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? The foam should hold up a little bit longer before it starts wearing through, um, which is great. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this chair our recommended um, award, and that is based on the fact that I do feel. Um, a little bit cramped up in it with the lumbar pillow. I've actually become quite um, used to using the lumbar pillows, but in the case of the Evo series, from I just I can't do it personally. So between that and the um, the multifunction base, which controls the obviously the tilting and the rocking and the gas pump, I don't feel that this chair is. Uh, must have, but I'll give it its recommended award because it still is a great chair. So make sure that you also check out the written review, which will be live on enistech.com, uh, so you can get a look at that multifunction base. Um, it does its job, but there are better options um, for things that do that as well. Now there's a lot better options. Uh, so overall, it is a very good chair. It is comfortable once you figure it out again with the recommended award so big thanks to xt racing for sending in their evo series gaming chairs um 
It was a great chair. I enjoyed it. So that's it for now. So as always, thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned in the future for more content.